I was never going to be a man's physique. Didn't have much of an off season. I like his physique better. I'm always very energetic. I will have to put me as one of the greatest. Mr. Olympia was won by the back. I think in 2016, they they got rid of the women's bodybuilding, right? Um, mm -hmm. From Olympia, I think Arnold, I think all major competitions, they, they kind of abandoned it, right? Now, uh -huh. last year, they brought it back, right, to Olympia. And I think some other, some other big shows, they basically brought it mm -hmm. back. Um, so how do you feel about that? I mean... Do you think it was smart to bring it back? How did you feel like when they first got rid of it? Because I'm sure you know a lot of women that participate in that, right? So like, sure, yeah. What, what, what do you feel about women's bodybuilding? How do you feel about it? You know, because they when it was taken out, they said, "Oh, this is a dying division. Nobody's doing it. The talent's not there." So obviously, for those athletes, I mean, I can't imagine if tomorrow they were like, "Fitness, we're done." They're like, whoa, <laughs> like what? So I fell for them. I mean, that that would be hard. I put myself in their shoes and went, gosh, like, and for several of them, yeah, women's physique was there, but it wasn't, they were way too big. They would not even, they'd embarrass themselves going out, trying to compete in women's physique because they'd worked so many years to be at this level. Um, but, you know, and then there was the talk, oh my gosh, all these women bodybuilders look like men. And that's why it's not, you know, for everybody. And it's like, that's not fair to generalize, first of all. But, uh, you know, bringing it back, I think it's nice because the appreciation from those athletes is incredible because now they finally are back in and they have an opportunity to compete in the division that they were made for and that they have trained all their life for. And you look at the current um, winner, Andrea, I love her. She is so amazing for the sport because of her personality. She's got a phenomenal look. Her work ethic is ridiculous. She's constantly working to be better in every aspect from even the tiniest change to her posing. So I think bringing it back was good because then you saw these diehard athletes who are doing everything they can to make sure it stays. And the representation this year at the Olympia for the women's bodybuilding division, I thought was pretty amazing. So I'm glad it's back for the athletes. It seemed like people were happy it was back, um, at least from the stuff that I saw. But I thought it was great. I thought it was great that they added it back in and they're kind of bringing to light, again, that division. That's been around for so long. So it's tough to see something go away, even as we have all these new divisions that are coming back in. I like to watch women's bodybuilding. Um, mm -hmm. You know, it's interesting you brought up the whole looking like men thing. Now, I was mm -hmm. talking to, a, I'm not going to say the name, but I was talking to a women's, uh, a woman bodybuilder, right, about this, the same situation. I said, well, because I hear it all the time, you know, you know, yeah. social media, you know, you hear that stuff, oh, was that a man? You know what I mean? She looks like a man. Yeah. Okay, so, and I, and I brought it up to her. I said, you know, you, I'm sure you hear, you hear these things, you know? Mm -hmm. um, and she told me, well, this is not a beauty pageant. Like, we're in a muscle contest, so... Mm -hmm. like, like you mentioned before, it's an extreme sport, obviously, right? It's, but it's not a, you know what I mean? It's not a beauty pageant. It is a, it is a specific right. competition for muscle. So, when you hear stuff like that, I feel like it's just it. So, you know what I mean? What's your point if you say they look? Right. You know what I mean, like what is the, what's? Well, and the thing is, you get bikini girls who are, you know, harassed on Instagram. You look like a man. I've had these ugly. <laughs> I hate these veins, but I've had these veins since junior high, and I've been tortured and tormented and made fun of. But now people are like, look at your veins. You look like a man. You look like a dude. I've had these well before I was into bodybuilding. But if you're going to think I look like a man because I have these veins that I was born with and genetically, I've ju they've always been there. They always stick out. <laughs> They're always obnoxious. But what do you do? Okay. You can't please everyone. Anyone that has muscle, for some guys, any female that has a tiny bit of muscle looks like a man. So you know, yeah, it does suck. But then again, you look at current Olympia winner. I don't think people can say that about her. I mean, she's beautiful. And like, I don't know, it's it's tough. Because again, to your point, it's not looking at the face anyways. That's not what's being judged. Yes, they look at the overall package. But it's a physique competition. They are judging your body, your muscularity, all the work you put in the gym to work those tiny little muscle groups so that they pop on stage. That's what the work that goes into it. So, you know, again, it's a physique competition. If, if we focus just on this, you're getting away from how the sport even became what it is and grew into what it is.